Robotire, we make robots to change tires. We sell that to service centers in which they can 4x their revenue in the same square footage. Great, so what problem are you trying to solve? Obviously, human beings have been changing tires for as long as there have been cars. Yeah, it's basically the, the labor shortage, right? We're in a, some people call it a drastic labor shortage. Uh, we're basically about 25,000 technicians short annually to refill the jobs, right? Everyone's aging out. We've pulled vocational classes from high school so we don't have auto shop and all of that. So we're trying to bring robots now into the service center. One, to energize the youth to become a mechanic again, and then two, to help assist with the tasks of changing tires, right? Tires, are, tires and oil changes are the first entry level task to be done, and you have the highest uh, retrition rate for tire changing because people don't want to lift a 50 pound tire all day. They want to actually service a car. So that's the big problem that we're addressing, plus the benefits of shops being able to go 24 seven, X, Y, Z, the beauty of robots, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, how much more efficient is the robot than a human at changing a tire? So right now it takes a human normally about 60 minutes. We can do a set of four and 10. So we take that task from 60 to 10, be conservative, let's just say 20. And how much does a robot run? Um, so the robots, we basically sell these as, we call it a, a rev share, or RAS, or robot as a service. And we just charge $5 per tire that's changed. Great. What, what is the actual sort of uh, part cost per device? So it's about uh, 250K is my initial cost, right? Um, and then we just do it as a rev share or subscription model to ease the burden of the shop from not having to put up a large CapEx cost. So, so at 250K per robot, how long is it actually going to take to actually make up the cost of the <laughs> robot? If a shop is pumping roughly over about 100 tires a day, I can get my payback in nine months. How automated is the process? You know, can I just drive my, my car up and it will <laughs> automatically change the tire? We say we're about about 90% automated in the sense, at least our V1, my brain goes to like V5 and we can eventually sure. get there. I don't think it'll be completely automated where there's not an uh, overseer, mm -hmm. right? Because there's always these what if cases, but basically uh, the tech would drive the vehicle in, our automated lift would pick up the car. We have a single wrench on a single robot arm to go remove all of the lug nuts. Um, we do that because of the variability in lug nut patterns and sizes. Basically as a tool changer at the end to switch out for its socket, and then a larger robot that will handle the manipulation off of the car, onto the tire changer, balancer, and the operators use to remove the, the tire pressure sensor and then put on the, the weights. So those are still operator tasks, but we have ways of automating that in V2 and V3. Great, thank you so much. All right, thank you.